Hi, Ma. I don't hear Carter. Hey, YouTube. This your girl, Sakai. I do. I hear him now. And I just, I'm here. I need to talk to somebody, okay? I'm talking to my mom. My mom not helping me. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to throw this video up. Just to make sure I ain't crazy. You know, because spirit tell you stuff. Spirit show you stuff. And let's just talk about it. I just got to clean. Call it some good. Because listen, y'all. Okay. Anyway, let's get into the conversation. I want to talk about how to keep your energy together. And why it's so important for you to keep your energy together. And why you should not allow people to knock you off of your focus. And what you working hard for. Because I don't know about y'all, but I manifest, okay? I manifest. So, every minute of my day, every thought, everything I do count. <laughs> yeah, it do. Well, let me get to the story. Anyway, I have a young lady that come into my job. And I'm in the food industry. And I have a tip jar, okay? This young lady that comes into my job all the time. I can tell she got some issues. I know she got some issues, y'all. It's so obvious, but I know. And I tend to have a really soft heart for people with these types of issues. However, you know, me being me, I winded up getting a young lady to talk to me over time. And I wrapped her a crystal. I wrapped her a beautiful rose quartz crystal. Now... When I did it, I just did it because I wanted her to have it. I will always um, come to work. As you see, I got a crystal on now. I have a little stone. My sister sent me a Sag pendant for my birthday because I'm a Sag. Hey. Anyway, she um, she would come in and she would be like, your stones are so pretty. So I am an entrepreneur on top of working for, you know, whatever. But I invest in myself too. So... She will always say to me that she liked my stone. So one day I I had gave her a stone that I had previously wrapped for her. Blessed it and all, y'all. Okay. Blessed it with good juice because I could tell she suffered from some type of anxiety, probably some type of depression. She's listen, life ain't easy for some, you know. And she's she her life ain't easy, you could tell. So I gave her the stone. I didn't expect nothing. I don't want nothing from her. Um, I just really wanted it to help her because I believe in crystals. Now, girl, let me tell you, girl. Hold on, wait. Wait, girl, let me get the sage. Cause listen, right? Cause I'm about to get angry. I'm trying not to I care about sweating. Ooh, girl, okay. So she comes into the job all the time. My mom in the bag tripping, y'all. Bob, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'm trying. Don't baby sound crazy. Say something, mom. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> um, yeah. She comes into my job just a couple of days ago. And this was not just any day, okay? This was just, oh, it was Eagle Sunday. We was popping. The game was coming. The people was ready, okay? And a lot of my regular guests was coming in and they haven't seen me since Christmas, since but prior to Christmas, you know, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I do reap benefits from Christmas, which I'm cool with. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, they was like, listen, we got Christmas gifts for you. We're going to hit your tip jar. I'm like I was getting money. People was dropping $20, $10 in the tip jar. Okay. This is why I love this job, but you know, I don't question it. Okay. I don't have an issue where how where it come from it just comes when it's time to come so it never dawned on me to take the money out of my tip jar i worked for this place so many years i done saw this woman so many times it never dawned on yes, me. yes baby you see this yeah. is a family affair That's anyway right. <laughs> please excuse me so i'm like girl why didn't you do it? But I ne it never dawned on me to take the tip jar down and collect the money. It was just that busy. So after I got finished that, finish that round of calls, y'all, okay, 
after I got finished that round of calls, girl, I stood up. Hold on, let me grab my wine. Hold up, wait. Mm. Mm -hmm. I stood up, okay? And when I tell you, was it nothing in my tip jar? Yeah. Mm. Give me a second. Give me a moment. I'm not going to get angry on camera. We're not doing this. We're not going to do it on camera. So. I said, self, 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 you are liable to snitch. Okay, because I ain't going to lie, y'all. While that, the, that money was going into the tip jar, I was just suspending it in my head, okay? I was like, girl, I'm going to buy, I need some yarrow. I need some mugwort, okay? I got to do three or four orders, so I need a couple of more fabric. You know, listen, I was like, what? Universe is sending it to me because I asked, okay? And here it is, you come and take <laughs> What was given to me? I said, "Did this bitch know she fucking with a witch?" Oh. I just had that. <laughs> Saka, calm down, calm down, girl. It's okay. Where's the sage? Oh, Shanghai need it. Hold up, give me a second. Let me put this in my boot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I started stamping just a little bit on the inside. I was ooh on the inside, girl. I was so angry. I was so angry on the inside. And then I had asked my driver, I'm like, but why am I the only one mad? Like, y'all don't care that somebody just took my tips? So I went over to the owner. I'm like, yo, can you check the camera? Like, <laughs> that was almost $80, $90 in my tip jar. I need to know who took my tips. Because, like, listen, when I leave here, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find her, okay? Or him. And we can, <laughs> yeah, okay? And Because now I, I feel offended, okay? I feel like you just took from my kid's mouth. Mm. All right? That's how I feel. That's how I was feeling, okay? Y'all, woo, it's hot. I ain't even going to, listen, listen, this is a wig. I don't care. Okay. It was hot under there. So I go home. I sit down. I'm talking to my husband. I'm like, babe, listen, babe, the girl stole my tips. My husband said to me, she probably needed them. And in my head, I'm like, you on her side or my side? Like, what do you mean? She probably needed them. He was like, what girl are you talking about? Now, no, I didn't see her do it. <laughs> but I'm a witch, y'all. Let's be for real. I already knew she did it. I knew she was going to do it when she came in. But it never hit me until afterwards. I was like, damn that. Damn, she fast. Anyway, he like, what girl are you talking about? So I, I explained him to her. And I explained her to him. And he was like, no, nah, you playing. Not that girl. I said, yeah, that girl. He was like, you know, she walked down the block sometimes. She be on my block. I said, I said babe, mm -hmm. if I see that bitch, I'm going to fuck her up. Okay? My husband said, Sakai, you can't go beating up the girl. I said, you right. You right. But I'm angry. And why would she do that? Do she know if she asked me? And this, this, is, the, this is the thing with me. I only told y'all about the stone I wrapped for her. Every time she come in, she comes, she scrape change up. And it don't even have to be what it's, just, it's supposed to be. I don't care. I still feed her. I'm not the type of person to allow someone not to eat. You, you feel, I'm not, I might not give you money in your hand. You feel me? But if you want something to eat, I'm going to feed you. Okay? Period. I don't care. I know what it feel like to be hungry. Okay, and I, I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. So this really hurt me like this hurt me to my core because I'm like, I'm a Sag first. Okay, I'm a Sag first. And we most people don't like to believe it, but we're very sweet people. We're, we're very blunt. We mean what we say. We're very honest. A lot of people can't take it, but we're very sweet once you're able to get over that hump with us, okay? And I would have gave her the coat off my back if it was cold enough outside, okay? Because I know I got more coats at home. So for her to take this from me broke my heart. But my husband was like, babe, 
You just need to calm down. He was like, listen, get a glass of wine, calm down. And listen, y'all, I'm about to shout out one of my girls, Tasha K. Um, I, she was like, watch, watch your YouTube. I'm like, you're right. So that's what I did that night. And I went to bed. Mind you, this is Sunday. Today is, today's Wednesday, right, mom? Yes. Today, Wednesday. I went to, I went, I didn't have to work on Monday. I went to work on Tuesday and I was like, if I see that check, I'm just going to let her know that she stole from a witch. That's it. And by this point, I started to understand. In my head, I started to realize that I was putting too much energy into this one negative thing. See, right now we're under eclipse. We're under eclipse in cancer. This eclipse is very important. It's going to affect the next six months of your life. I can't allow such negativity to stop my manifestation, okay? So right. by this point, I had to get it together. I got it together, together mentally in my head, like you and I, too, girl, I got stuff that I'm working on. <laughs> no, mm -mm. You, you're not going to take that way either, okay? So I said, you know what? I'm going to let it go. When I see her, I'm simply... Just going to let her know how I feel respectfully and I'm just going to leave it there. And I went on about my day. Let me tell you how. Your universe know, baby, okay? Your universe know what you need and they know the lessons. It know Your universe know the lessons that you're going to get from everything. Universe know how to talk to me because it's not easy to catch my attention. And as I'll be on YouTube, y'all see that. It's not easy, okay? I'm not the nicest person to catch attention in the world, okay? But anyway, she came in today. Oh. I looked, I said, oh, is she a dumb one? Uh-oh. Because you, I'm not going to steal that type of money. First of all, I'm not a thief. I can't stand a thief. Let me clear that up. But I don't know none that was steal that type of money and then show their face right after they did it. Yeah, so you dumb, okay? Okay, yeah. Mm-mm. So... Let me, I'm a girl, because I'm about to get angry. I got to do something. And it took me everything. And y'all, I be, I be at work making bags, okay? So, so I was already sewing at work. Ooh, see, because my, my universe knew. This keep me calm. My universe was like, girl, grab that bag. I had my bag. I looked up. I said, ooh. My cook said, Saka, don't you say nothing. Don't you say nothing. I was like, listen, ooh. I was in the chair like, ooh, girl. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, universe. Oh, you blessed me. I'm so blessed and highly favored. I'm so grateful for this moment. And you know what I did? I smiled. I said, hey, what can I get for you? She was like, can I have two slices in a box, please? I said, okay. So I walked over to the register. Y'all rung up. I said, do, 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 do. Your total $4.50 and smiled. She handed me the money. I took it, put it in my bra. It went like this. And she was like, and I was like, and she was like, and I was like, and she was like, am I going to get my slices? I said, yeah, when you pay me. She said, you took my money. I said, oh, yeah, that's right. Like you took mine on Sunday. Her face. In that moment changed and she started to like sink and I say yeah see I don't I don't like to take from nobody but you took from my kids and I'm not gonna blast how many I got because on some real I'm not here for no charity all right because I'm a I'm a hustler I get smart but you took from my kids and because you took from my children I'm gonna take from you and even though it was five dollars Compared to the $80, $90 that was in my tip jar. I know it's going to disturb you the same way. It disturbed me. All the while I'm saying this to her, my cook walks up to the register and he starts snapping on it. How dare you take from her? She always look out for you. She buy you slices. Even when we try to tell her about you. All this stuff that really don't matter, okay? Because it don't matter. This ain't about them. This is about me and you. Me mm -hmm. and you, because that's how I feel. I feel like you spit on me. 
So now I got to spit back. So while he yelling, I said, listen, I want I, I, I want to talk to her. Let me talk to her. And he said, okay. He walked away and I got closer to the counter so we could be close. I was close to her. I said, listen. I said, how was your night that night? She said, I couldn't sleep like that. I said, I know I couldn't either. I said, you broke my heart. You broke my heart because every day I pray nothing but greatness for you. Every day I watch you and I go, whatever her struggle is, I want it to be lifted so that she can enjoy life like I enjoy life. I had plans to be a part of your world and show you some stuff. Okay. I said, and it broke my heart. I said, you want to know why you had a horrible night? She said, why? I said, because my universe don't like it when people mess with me. My ancestors <laughs> don't bang like that. Okay. So they saw that I was destroyed and they made sure you was too. And then I leaned real close. I said, do you know you stole that money from a witch? Bitch. And smiled. And she went. It got all ugly and started crying and went to walk out the door. But let me tell you how I felt. At this point, I'm like, yes, this is the victory, y'all. No, no. It messed me up to see her break like that. In my head, I'm like, is this girl going to go home? Is this girl going to go home? Is this girl going to go home and get more depressed. Like, I don't want to make her worse than what she is mentally, but I needed her to know that she hurt me. My point in this whole story, I learned a couple of valuable lessons. The first one is everybody out here, regardless of how they might look, regardless of how they might sell themselves to you, Everybody out here, you can't be trusted to the point where you're so comfortable that you're not even aware of your surroundings. That's the first thing. And listen, y'all, I'm too old to get that lesson. But you know what? Every once in a while, you got to be reminded. And I was just reminded. And I'm, I'm, th I'm grateful for that, rem for, for that reminder, okay? That's, that's that. The second thing that I learned was I had to let go of the anger. The emotions that I started to overtake me. Thanks, mom. I'm, listen, my mom just hooked me up with some good wine here. Mm, I'm going to drink some. Thank you, mom. I needed it. Mm. Mom, can you say that louder? They think I'm crazy. You are so welcome. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm. But anyway... I don't know. I just got crazy because I spilled a little bit of wine, y'all. Um, the second thing that I learned was how to let that go. First thing first, after a while, I started questioning people about why they wasn't getting angry. First of all, it's not for them to get angry. The lesson wasn't for them. Man. The lesson was for me, baby. That's right. Okay? It, it was so big that the lesson was for me and that young lady together, just differently. <laughs> Is this ours? So at the end of the day, I could not project my energy to them to be frustrated for something that I have to learn the lesson from. That was another one. Something else that I learned was, I'm just too freaking kind hearted. Why did her be crying and all that get to me? Why? Why? And one of my sisters said, because you're realizing that you're growing. And at the end of the day, when you grow, you learn how to maneuver through your feelings. Okay. She also said to me that maybe I could have dealt with it a different way. Maybe I didn't have to take the money from her. Maybe, not to say I was wrong, she wasn't saying I was wrong, she was just showing me different directions on which it could have played out. 
And she was saying, maybe you didn't have to tell her who you were. You didn't have to go that deep in. Maybe you didn't have to say nothing at all. But she needed the lesson to know that you're not, you, you, we know you're a thief. Okay. And it's, it's not that hard. Or maybe her lesson was open your mouth because closed mouths don't get fat. But the lesson for me was patience. And don't jump to conclusion. Because listen, let me tell you, I can go from happy to angry real fast. And this is something that I'm working on. Y'all saw my previous video that's self-love and it starts there. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress. I am a student first and I am still looking for some mentors. Okay. Don't ever get it twisted. So I am a work in progress and without this lesson tonight, I probably would not had been able to enjoy my night because let me tell you what happened after she left and I passed the motions because I really got sad like I couldn't understand but once my sister told me what she told me and we had our conversation I felt a little better because her being my older sister she was telling me different ways to look at it and different ways to address it at the end of the day I deal with the public so I'm always supposed to be professional I'm always supposed to be bubbly they always expect me to be smiling which is not and listen, I'm good at acting, y'all, okay? <laughs> All right. Mm. Anyway, but the blessing that came out of it was once she left and once I brought my emotions down to where they needed to be and raised my vibration to where I needed it to be. Listen, let me tell you, this shungite was with me, okay? This yellow agate was with me. This rose quart was with me. This lavrakite was with me. Like, they were with me. I carry a bag of sage in my bag. When I'm going through stuff, I'll go in the bathroom and I'll bring it, and I got it together. And I came back to center. And when I came back to center, girl, let me tell you, my universe said, you learned your lesson. Because by the time I clocked out, my tip jar had exactly what she took from it back in it and i could do my night with my ladies we did our yanni steam we had some wine and we totally enjoyed ourselves so the point of this video here y'all tonight is just simply have patience trust and listen to yourself because before that woman took my stuff i knew she was going to take it already before the owner called me and told me she took it i already knew she took it okay but it was the shift within me that I had to notice to get the lesson. So listen, YouTube, don't let nobody stop you from getting what you need to get. Okay. Do not let them stop you. Don't let them hold them. Don't let them hold you down. It's some low vibrating people out here. God bless them. As for me, I, I, I'm going to be vibrating all the way up here while y'all down here. And I'm not going to allow anyone or anything to stop me from getting what I want and where I need to be. You feel me? So listen, like, comment, subscribe. It helps me get out there and get the message out there. If you truly like this video, y'all, please hit that thumbs up. Like, help us sister out. And also, I've been having a couple of questions in my... Listen, okay. Y'all watching the video, and then you email me. Comment under below. It's okay. Um, as far as certain products, I will link my webpage under this video. Hopefully, no promises occur, because chick be busy. I got like 18 jobs. I'm a sad. We about this life. We go get it, go get it, go get it. Anyway, I enjoy talking to y'all. I am grateful for my lesson. And to be honest, I believe this conversation really, really helped me, because, girl, I'm finished. I think it was the glass of wine. My mom poured me a new one. She poured me a new one. Ooh. Ooh. So, see you later, YouTube. Enjoy the rest of your evening.